Hi, I'm Alison Pryor and today we are going to paint this beautiful little painting. It's on 11 by 14 old canvas. Bike. It has to do everything freehand so that you can make your bike look really old. And so it won't matter how you draw it out, it's going to look fantastic. So let's get started. So now we're going to draw the bike. And if you have a hard time drawing the bike, or you have a hard time getting it to look the way you like it, do it with chalk first. Because if you don't like it, you can at least wipe it away. And if you're having a really hard time, then print off a bike and trace it out. Here, trace it out. Just make sure that you, you, know, you print it off big enough so that it fits your canvas. You don't want it to be too small or too big. So I would say for 11 by 14 canvas, you probably need a half use half a page of an eight and a half by 11 to print it out. So I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. I'm going to use chalk and I'm going to put my one wheel here. So I'm going to start with a wheel first. Now this might come out, it might come out good and it may come out bad. It's a pretty big wheel. And then we're going to move that over so we'll have lots of room for our center piece. So make two wheels. So let's make one over here. So get your two wheels on first and then you can always join it up with the rest after. So two wheels. Now we need a place to put the seat so we will make a I don't know if you can see this or not. It's going to be a bit hard to see it. But I have some chalk here and I'm going to make a line going down here so that you can put somewhere to put the seat, okay? So on top of there we'll put a seat. Doesn't matter about shape too much right now. We'll shape it up when we paint it in. This wheel here I'll leave that for, for that one and then I will put a piece going over here and then there's another piece going down here towards the spoke, the center of the spoke of the wheel. Okay. So now we can try, that's where the spoke is right there and we need to, that's the seat and we will bring up the handlebars a bit higher so we'll come up here with the handlebars just put out two little lines and then we will join up this to this one with a curved line and we'll put another one here down to the bottom all right and we will, I think that's about it. Fill in that wheel a bit more there. This thing to do is get some paint going because it's really difficult to see. But two wheels, two round circles, and a straight line, a diagonal line going down here for the seat, and then another line coming back over the wheel, and another line diagonal towards the spoke and the wheel and then we join up this line to hold the bike together <laughs> and then there's another line coming underneath that and then we just bring up another line for the handles <laughs> sounds easy but let's try see what happens and like I said you can always print off a pattern or a picture just just trace it out and get You'll get your bike on there and you won't have to worry too much. But this is more fun. This is more fun. I hope. So I'm going to take my flat chisel edge, small flat chisel edge brush. And I'm going to put in black. And I'm going to paint a wheel just so we can see it. Okay. There's one here and here. See, I had it nice and wide up there because I was saving that for the uh, for 
for the rest of it. Okay, so here we go. One wheel. Let's try another one. And another wheel. Now, to slap here the better, okay? Because this bike is like, really, it probably just came out of the dump or something, so probably got run over by a car, you know, anything. It's just a mess. And this is how you do paint loosely, okay? Paint very, very loosely, okay? That will help you. So let's just do the rest with black paint for now. So we'll just take that line there. Take that right out here. And we'll take this over here. See? So you can see it better now, see? And then we have this one here. And we'll make the seat. See, it's kind of pointy in the front, and then it comes up a little bit, okay, and then we have this line here. If you study it enough, you'll see that it's only a bunch of lines, and then we have a line here. Now. I'm standing up, so my lines might be a little even more, a little crook, more crooked than yours. But if you're sitting down, you'll be able to take your time and not make a mess as much as I am. But like I said, it's an old, it's an old bike, but you still want it to look like a bike, right? You don't want it to be to the point where it doesn't even look like a bike. So these are just the handles. So now it looks like a bike, doesn't it? All we do is put some color on it and we're done. So. That's where the spokes are, somewhere in here. I was hoping to cut off that part there, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. There's a little, I can't remember what you call it, it goes over the wheel. You remember. Let me know in the comment section what's called. <laughs> I'll probably look it up on Google, but just see if how many people know the name of that. Protects your uh, your wheel, right? Wasn't really much into bikes. There's no excuse. Okay, so. I think that's that. Now we'll start adding a bit of color. Now I want my bike to be red. You can have any color. You can have any color bike you want. It could be yellow. It could be green. Well, I wouldn't put green in because it's going to be too much green with the grass. But I, I'm using red because red and green are complementary to each other. But yellow and blue are also uh, yellows and oranges, but there's no oranges up here. But um, yellow and blue orange and blue and uh, they sort of match each other nicely they uh, they're complementary now 
I'm going to add some red. I was just waiting. I got a bright red here. I'm just going to add that on top of this black. That thickens it up a little bit more. And I want to keep some of that black underneath here. That's the shadow. Using my chisel edge to get that on there. Hey. Want to warn you guys, sometimes you can't get things to work properly, and it's not because of you, it's because of the brush you're using. So, a lot of it has to do with your brush. Put the right on top of here. So if you're not using a chisel edge brush, synthetic, and you're using a bristle, then your paint is not going to go on. You're not going to get those lines, those, those sharp edges there. See? You won't get that. You won't get those nice edges there. Same with the fence. Because the bristles will open up and the paint will go everywhere. So, so let's put some of this on here. Don't push too hard or your paint is not going to, it's going to leave weird edges, so don't press too hard. And always give it a second coat if we need to. Try to concentrate on keeping that chiseled edge chiseled so that you can use that against those lines. Now, it's a bit dark, but we can go over that again. Like I said, I'm standing up, so. And you might say, well, why don't you sit down? <laughs> it's just the way I have things laid out right now. All right, so let's try. Let's try this one here. So now you have your black on, so you're just going on top of the black. You're not, you're not going over the black, you're going on top of the black. That makes the lines thicker, and you still got your shadow then, see? Okay? See? Good. These thicker ones, I'm going sort of on those black, but I'm leaving some of the black, okay? But they're thick enough that I can actually go on top of the black. Try not to push too hard because it'll only spread the paint out around. We'll be highlighting that now soon too, so don't worry. Um, we also got this here. All right, it's looking like a bike. Let's take some more black and thicken those wheels up a little bit more. Some bikes have thick wheels and some have thin.
Okay. It's definitely not a brand new bike. But it's so cool. I'll oh, just another one in here. Put some right on top of that one. Bumpity bump. Now, see I came down too far there, so I'm just going to put some white there. As if the fence is there. See? Pretty easy to fix things, isn't it? Good. We have that much done. Now, let's take our liner brush and see if we can put the spokes in there. I'm just going to take black and I'm going to take, from that circle here, I'm going to take spokes. All comes from the same point, okay? Yep, be, be very gentle. Now, if you can't get it with your brush, just use a marker. A black marker is fine. There's nothing wrong with using mixed media. this brush here. And I'm going to add a little bit of white on the edges of those spokes. I like them to be a bit blacker so I might have to go over them again. Black. the tricky part here where you're trying to keep the black. I'll probably go back in again and put some more black in there. I'm trying to get it so that like we did with the other part of uh, the bike we kept the dark and just painted on top of the dark okay. Isn't this fun though? <laughs> I like doing paintings like this. You can just have relax and have fun. It doesn't matter what it looks like. As long as you get a good shape. And that looks like a bike. If it didn't look like a bike, then it wouldn't be good. But it looks like an old broken down bike. So it's working. Alright. I'm going to get my flat brush out. Pick up some white. I'm going to add a little bit of white on these wheels here just to give it like a, like a shine on, on the wheel like that now don't worry if you put too much on we'll just put some black on there after it's no big deal I just wiped off my brush. I had too much paint on it. Okay. Ooh, 
bit more paint so it'll show up. See what I'm saying about doing paintings? Highlights and shadows are very important to bring it to life. If you just left that pure black, it looked like a wheel, but it's just flat, pure black, right? So, but the, the bit of white helps. I'm going to put some black back there because I looks like I might have put too much on there. Have put in. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I have put too much on there. Good thing I'm not teaching English. So don't forget now, do it your own way. So you try to follow my way, you might it might look too messed up and then you won't like it. So either trace a bike on there or just do what I'm doing, just have some fun with it and bring it to life with highlights. So let's go back to red. Let's put some more red on here. See what I mean by brushes? You know you got little pieces coming off sometimes. And that can happen with expensive brushes or cheap brushes. So don't go thinking, oh, if I pay 50 bucks for a brush, it won't shed. Well, it might shed. I want to keep the bike red, so I'm not adding any white, because that will turn it pink, and or yellow, that will turn it orange. I'm just trying to keep it red. So if I have to do a couple of layers, of reds to brighten it up, then I will. Okay, so you can do that too. Get a bright red on your palette, brightest red you got. Nice, this one's bright. We'll just stay that way. But our acrylic's dry, really dark. I'm trying to get that edge a little bit sharper, a little bit of a pointy. See how bright it is now? Even though it looks like a real messed up bike, it's still got some nice, nice feeling to it, doesn't it? Put a little bit more white back there, I'll see now. I'm going to use my liner brush to put a little bit more dark, a little bit more black on that seat there. I kind of lost it a little bit there. That's better. A shadow underneath there. And shadows between where they meet. See where they meet? Put a little shadow there. Meets right here. A bit of black. 
Yeah, and you put some of your black back. meets right here. All these little details are nice. If you lose your shadow, just put more back this all underneath the red, okay? Separate these two here a bit. Some more of your shadow back underneath the red. That'll make the shadow the red stand out more too. Good. Let's take some white, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow, and let's put some highlight on top of this here, but we don't want to put too much on because it's already more white than yellow. Just on the very top, don't cover up your red. Just little bits here and there, don't no need to put long lines of white there. See, just a little bit, see that? All these little things. So we'll put some highlight here. And here. There. Maybe a little bit, not too much here because there's probably a shadow there, right? But it might be a little bit of sun peeking out of there somewhere. Right? Don't cover up all your red now, right on top. See how that little bits of white helps? I put too much white on there, so easy to fix. Good. That was easy to fix. So I'm going to put a bit of white around those little things that hold spikes, spokes I should say, just to make them stand out a bit. And a little more white in, in some of the places if you need it. Because the white highlights and the shadows is what really brings it out. Because the sun is shining on this bike. And it's hitting off different parts of the bike. See? 
and that's why we got these little highlights of white and that's why it brings it out more It's a bit of work, but you know, it's worth it because all these little bits and pieces of highlights and shadows and the different things that you do with it and the fence and everything, it brings it out, makes it look interesting. It's interesting, okay? Um, if you want to, I'll fix that up later. I'm not really worried about these things, but I want to show you that. Uh, Things can be fixed. You, when, once you get it done to a certain point, you can look at it and say, well, you know, maybe I'll fix up some of the spokes. And, you know, you can sit down, relax, and, and do things with it. But I think I'm going to leave that as it is. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some nice flowers and things over here and some down here, and we'll put a little bird on it, and then we're done, okay? So thank you for painting along with me today. And this old bike, I'm going to call it an old bike by the fence. And... I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I had fun and I had accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. It's really cute. So thank you so much. And if you like this video, you can share my video. Give me a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.